Hello all, welcome to part 39 of Cucumber BDD training series. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate the default tags in Cucumber. So let's get started. So in the previous sessions of this uh, training series, I've already covered about tags and uh, how we use tags and all, okay? Most of the tags that have covered in the previous sessions will fall into the custom tax category, okay? There are two types of tax in Cucumber, okay? That we use in Cucumber. One is custom tax, okay? These are you completely user-defined tax case. Any name you can provide. At the rate smoke, you can say. At the rate Arun, you can say, okay? At the rate color, you can say. Whatever the name, whatever the thing that you want to specify, it's a completely user-defined tag. But what about the other type of tax that I'm going to cover in this session? That is default tax. The second the category or type of the tax in Co that we use in Cucumber or default tax. Are they predefined tax? The answer is no case. Are they user defined tax? Answer is yes. Okay, similar to custom tax, these default tax are also the user defined tax, but they are widely used as a standard in the industry. Okay, though, they the, though these default tax are user defined tax, but they are commonly used in the industry, guys. That's why we Categorize them into the default tax and remaining into custom tax. Default tax are also custom tax, but these are widely used as a standard in the market. So we have to remember this kind of tax, like uh, for this situation, what the industry standard tax are. Okay. Instead of giving our own user defined names, if we follow some user defined, I mean, uh, commonly used uh, kind of tag names in the across the industry, that will be good, right? So these are like this. Okay. It doesn't mean that there's no predefined stuff behind this at the rate do, at the rate ignore, at the rate double. These three are the most commonly used uh, default tags in Cucumber projects. These are user defined tags only, guys. They can have any name. Okay. Here at the rate dev, at the rate development can be there, at the rate ignore, at the rate uh, work in progress can be there, and all those stuff. But these are commonly used as a standard across the industry, though they are user defined tags. So it's better to have some knowledge about them. Okay. So in what situation we use this default tax in Cucumber projects that I'm going to cover in this session. For that, I'll quickly switch to this uh, Eclipse ID. Okay, so I'll go to this project. I'll expand this and under SRT test Java here. Uh, here, where are the features? Under SRT test resources, we have the features here. I'll go to the features. For example, I'll take one example, guys. Here, I'll take something like I will write at the rate dev here. This is one of the, what tag? Default tag. It's a user defined only, but default tag, which is commonly used as a standard across the industry, guys. So when the general, in general, uh, when this at the rate dev tag is being used in the industry as a common thing or a standard thing, you see, the tester has already written the scenario and steps and all the stuff, but the developer has not developed this particular scenario, okay? The real, in the real application, the, this particular functionality is not developed yet, but beforehand itself, the, uh, the tester has started writing the layout of that uh, test automation test for uh, testing that particular functionality for which the developer has not yet written the code or the development is written, uh, is in progress for that, okay? It's not released into the tester, okay? The tester has not received this particular functionality, okay, for testing purpose. Still, just to save time, tester to be in advanced mode has written this scenario. But tester is not going to run this test, okay? So this kind of situation where the tester want to write but don't want to run such kind of things, the tester will provide at the rate dev. This particular functionality is yet to be developed or in the progress of development, anything. It's currently in the developer shoes. It's it, This functionality does it, has not come to the tester's end, okay? In that situation, we'll write at the rate dev, okay? So now that's fine. What is the next one? Okay, I'll just uh, update this project. Sometimes you see already the implement steps are implemented, but uh, highlights are coming. Sometimes when it comes, just right click on the project, guys, and say Maven and say update project. Okay, the, uh, it will update the project, and uh, once it is mapped with the step definitions, it will again it will map these uh, steps with the step definitions, and the highlights may go up. Okay, let's wait until this building process is over. So let the building process be over. Currently, we have marked one of the scenarios at the rate dev for now. Okay. 
So there are other default tags that are commonly, uh, those are user defined tags only, but uh, commonly used as standard across the industry. Those other two tags uh, that I would like to explain are at the rate ignore. You say that maybe some situations where you don't want to run one of the scenarios. For example, here, the last scenario here, you don't want to run this, okay? Login without providing any credentials, you don't want to run for this time. Simply put at the rate ignore. Remaining all scenarios will run. It, still, it will not happen, guys. Okay, you have to change the runner code. Okay, here uh, he still uh, just by putting at the right dev at the right ignore, nothing will happen, guys. These are user defined tags. Okay, this, uh, if you run this using runner class, all these uh, things will uh, still run. If, despite of putting at the right dev at the right ignore, I'm just explaining you the meaning why you're providing this at the right tags. Okay, at the right dev when you provide. Okay, when you feel that this particular scenario is currently under development or it to be developed and tester, uh, it has not come to the tester end, then we'll write at the right dev. There may be some situations where the tester don't want to test this particular, okay? Don't want to uh, run this as part of the automation suit, okay? And remaining all want to run or what remaining scenarios which are not specified with at the right ignore the tester want to run in that cases, okay? The develop development is done and testing, uh, uh, the functionality came to the testing uh, end, but due to some XYZ reasons, the tester don't want to run a particular scenario in the particular run, whatever it is, okay? Then in such cases, uh, we generally provide it. At the rate, ignore, guys. This will not be applicable until you do some changes in the runner class, guys, okay? This will not come to effectiveness, okay? I'll show you how to make this uh, at the rate dev, at the rate ignore scenarios, uh, and uh, at the rate WIP scenarios to not run, okay? I'll show you one way, okay? So what's the other one? Let's take one more scenario, guys. In the same login, I'll take one more scenario, guys. Uh, here, I'll say at the rate WIP. WIP means what developers have completed guys. Okay. When you use it at the rate WIP as a tag for a particular scenario, developers have already written the code and uh, gave it to the testers. Now testers are still working off, working on this particular scenario. Okay. So they're writing automation scripts for this particular scenario where the work to be done by testers is not completed. Okay. Testers are still working in automating this scenario. It's not, it's partially done. In such cases, it's not a good idea to run this particular scenario, right? Testers have not completed automating this particular scenario, though the, though the development for this scenario is completed. Okay. In the in such cases, uh, the testers will put at the rate WIP. So work in progress. Testers work is still in progress, like that kind of thing. Here, development work is not completed. Testers are waiting for the development uh, to be completed so that they can complete this one. But due to uh, to save time, they have written this scenario. This case, WIP means developers have completed the work and gave to the testers the functionality as part of the build. And testers are still in the process of writing the automation, okay? So automation scripts for this particular scenario, and they have not completed it. In the, uh, till the automation is completed for this scenario, in automation implementation is completed for this scenario, they will not remove the at the rate WIP. Testers will not remove at the rate WIP. There may be some random situations where some scenarios Testers will not decide to run as part of the suit or whatever it is. Okay, so to be run in that cases, uh, testers will put at the rate ignore. Okay, and that is the reason. This that is the reason for putting at the rate dev, at the rate WIP and at the rate ignore in the real time as part of the default tags in this Cucumber projects. But these tags are of no use if you just provide them as it is like this at the rate dev at the rate W. They are of no use, guys. You have to go to the runner class. Okay, in the runner class, you have to mention here. Okay, here let's say at the rate all. And negation of, I mean, not of, and not, not what, <clears throat> not of, at the rate, dev, and not of, at the rate, WIP, and not of, at the rate, what is the other one, ignore, okay? So run all the scenarios in this feature files, okay? Run all the scenarios in this feature files, except dev, WIP, except the tags which are, except the scenarios which are marked with the tags at the rate dev, at the rate WIP, at the rate ignore. Then only this dev, WIP and ignore will come to use guys. Otherwise, there is no use of providing that names. Okay, they are user defined tags only, but are commonly used across the industry as a standard. So we have to remember a few names. That's it. Okay, remaining all custom names, you don't have to remember. Okay, now run this runner class and see whether uh, except that uh, dev, WIP and ignore everything is running or not. Okay, let's see that. So out of 14, how many will run? Let's see, there is a problem here, guys. Okay, no class definition found error is coming. Class not found exception. Uh, what is the problem here? I'm not waiting. So uh, let me close this. 
here I'll right click and say run as JUnit test. I'll see again if I'm getting the same problem, then I'll see. Yeah, it is working fine. I, I something happened. I don't remember what I have done. Okay, I have not run it properly actually. Okay, so maybe I have run using different option or something. Yeah, we have to run using JUnit from the runner class. Okay, for now. You see all at the rate all related scenarios and running except the scenarios which are mentioned with marked with tax dev at the rate dev at the rate wap and at the rate ignore should not be executed you see out of how many out of 14 only nine got executed because one first one is three times will be executed data driven test is there okay for login it's data driven test is there so we'll see the j unit i'll expand this and see under user login the first one is not run uh out of five one was at the rate uh, dev, one was at the uh, first scenario was at the rate dev. So data driven test is ruled out. So you have to minus three from 14 that will become 11. In that 11, one is provided with, uh, one scenario is provided with uh, at the rate, uh, uh, I mean, uh, ignore that is uh, with no credentials is not displayed here, you see. Okay, valid credentials is not displayed because uh, at the rate uh, dev is mentioned there and no credentials is not coming here. Because at the rate, uh, what is that? At the rate, ignore is mentioned. And one more scenario where uh, invalid email and valid password is also not coming because before that at the rate WIP is mentioned. And here we clearly mentioned tax, not dev, not WIP and not ignore. So except those scenarios which are marked with dev, WIP and ignore, all the tax, okay? All tag related scenarios got executed. So nine out of 14 guys, okay? Nine out of 14. So got executed. Okay. Hope you are able to get my point. The remaining all you see your registration, everything is working and search, everything is working. In login only, we marked all the stuff. Okay. You see in login, first one is a data driven, right? In the login feature file, first one is data driven. Three times it will done. So 14 minus 3. Okay. 11. And other one is uh, this one, guys. Okay. Double IP. 11 minus 1, 10. Ignore. 11, uh, 10 minus 1, 9. So 9. 9 out of 9. Okay. Remaining uh, 14 get is good. Okay, five didn't get is good. Okay, so how guys you understood uh, about default tax and what is their purpose and uh, how they are different from the custom tax, though they are uh, user defined tax. Okay, from this session. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.